our number three qualifier. And coming out is Kyle Douglas versus Bodie Turner. So Kyle Douglas at 25 years old and Bodie Turner still, still at 15 years old. His final day as a 15 year old. He will turn 16 years old tomorrow, Crystal. And Bodie Turner has showed us so much, as has Kyle Douglas. This is a match of heavy hitters. Yeah, we're talking the last two years' Vegas winners here. Just incredible. So for Kyle Douglas, he had a big change this year in the offseason, switching to Bowtech. And he's been working really hard to figure that pull out. Crystal, we know the different manufacturers, you can't make it all shoot the same, so you as the archer has to figure it out. Yeah, and it can take a lot of time, but he came out firing on all cylinders, it seems to be. So for Bodie Turner, he has burst onto the scene. He started Vegas 2022 as a 14-year-old. He turned 15 on that Saturday, and then won Vegas and a whole pile of money to go with it. <laughs> and now we see Bodie two days left in his 15 year, his 15th year, and today his final. So tomorrow, this is he going to celebrate his birthday with a gold medal around his neck? Or will our number 47th ranked archer in the world, Kyle Douglas, snatch that away? And like you're saying, the last three Vegas championships This is the representation. Tell us about the field of play, Crystal. What are we doing? So just like we saw in the last match, we're 18 meters away, those targets, and we're only scoring that inner 10 ring that's about the size of a dime. Each archer is going to shoot three arrows each end, and it's total score this time, cumulative scoring. So the highest score wins. None. First arrow from Bodie Turner drops it low, possibly a little nerves. Ten. Oof. Wow. That's a beauty. <laughs> what a great release from Kyle Douglas, too. You saw that bow just jump forward exactly the way he tunes it. Nine or ten. See another one a little left and a little low. And coming out here, compound, you have your scope, you have your peep. Depending on what you're running, ten. it can be very dark down here in the arena. All right, so for Bodie Turner, he did grab a click or two on his sight, moving it left to try to get it back to the middle. Ten, ten, ten. No problem for Kyle Douglas. So we're going to have to take a look. This could be two-point oh, advantage for Douglas right out of the box. So for Bodie Turner, he has a little bit of experience in world archery, coming in as the 118th ranked archer. Bodie tends to stay here in the States and just shoot more as he starts to expand his archery resume. And both these archers you see with world rankings, you wouldn't have seen that last year because indoor did not count in previous years towards world rankings, only outdoor did. So it's great to see that change. Field archery and indoor now counts. And by the way, there is your bronze medal winner, Chris Schaaf, on the right part of your screen. Paige Pierce also working. So it looks like Schaff is working for Bodie Turner and Paige Pierce helping out her Bowtech teammate, Kyle Douglas. What do you see on that shot with Bodie? I just look at the, the ease of that release and how still that bow is on the release of the shot. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot there by Kyle. Sorry. So it turns out that Bodie caught a 10. So it's 30 to Douglas, 29 for Turner. Turner will lead us off as the trailing archer, 20 second shot clock. 10. Caught the top of that inner ring. Now he'll make a side adjustment. Ten. Wow. I mean, it, right now for Kyle Douglas, it looks fluid. It looks easy. 
effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the middle for Turner. So a little bit of a punch there. A little bit of a, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. So a perfect score for Bodie Turner as he figures out his Hoyt Invicta, getting it dialed in. Nine or ten. Too close to call. That one's pretty At close. Starts to drift it out a little right in the and last two. Asterisks. It could be all right on the line. From my point, it looks like Tate Morgan in the coach's box. Yep. For Kyle Douglas. And for Bodie Turner, it's his dad. Joel Turner with shot IQ. So, Bodie Turner, without question, he's got 30 points. The question is Kyle Douglas. If it's counted as a nine, we're 59 points apiece, and we're all tied up after two ends. I think I heard him say that it's, it's, yes. it's confirmed as a nine. Yep. All right, so we're all tied up out of 60 possible points. Each archer has shot and scored 59. So we go into our third of five ends. If you're new to archery, there's a set number of arrows that are shot at a time. In this particular case, it's three. Once those are shot, shooting stops, they're scored. That is called an end in archery. So when we refer to that, now you know. Each archer with 20 seconds to shoot their shot. 15 year old Bodie Turner. 10. And he's starting to get that look in his face. When he gets into a rhythm, this archer is hard to beat. starting to get away from the middle a little bit. So we're seeing two opposite trends. None. Ooh. Yeah, so in the first end, we saw Kyle very relaxed on that trigger with his thumb. Now we see a little bit of space and then get a little closer, closer. Nine. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we're seeing some nines. He needs to just take a deep breath right now, recollect himself. Ten. So a ten for Turner. Ten. Yeah. And see, that was the shot that we saw the first three. Oh, there it is. Nice Both and relaxed. Okay, so we're going toe to toe here. Still tied up. Ten, nine, ten for each archer. We're going to go to eighty-eight points after our third end. We still have two to go. If if the score is all tied up, we're going to go to a one arrow closest to the center shoot off. It could definitely go like that. Well, two nines were shot in the last one. Let's take a look at Bodie Turner and his nine. Crystal, what do you see? So you just saw the bobble right at the end there. I think it's pretty obvious what happened. Oh. And for Kyle. Look at, Look that, at thumb. that thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In archery, that's called a punch. And Kyle will tell you, he is a puncher. He's not, he doesn't shy away from it. We have a few top archers in the world right now that are punchers, and it works for you. Of course, people that are committed to the hinge release or the surprise shot, as you, if you will, often will tell you, oh, the punch only lasts a while. However, Kyle Douglas has been on a roll for year after year now. And his shot, when it's timed perfect, and when he gets it centered, and when he gets his thumb on that barrel, Kyle Douglas has one of the greatest shots, shot executions that we've seen. Yeah, the key for him is that timing and just being relaxed through the shot. Turner starts us off. Ten. A good ten. Ten. Again, you see him clicking his sight. Both of those were high. Gives it a couple clicks. 
you'll see a, a lot of site adjustments in compound. Ten. Timing. That was a beauty. Yes. <laughs> Another inside out. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. What did we see there? What did you just see him do? We saw him go to punch it, not punch it, and then punch it. <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't quite there, and we thought he had it for a moment. The other thing I saw, too, was there is air that moves around here. Did you notice that just before the shot, he blinked? Yep. We see it with recurve archers. We don't see it as much with compound, do we? No, no. If you watched the exhibition match earlier, you saw Catalina just blinking, blinking, blinking. Whereas these compound shooters, you just see the eyes staring at that target, staring it down. And it's so it's definitely out. So Kyle Douglas now is going to be one point down. So 117 to 118, which means we have one end of competition to go. Here's Kyle's nine. Winner of the Vegas shoes back in 2022. Winner of the Rush yeah. Rumble. He knew it on the release. It looks up. There is a jumbotron above these archers, by the way, and they're far enough back where they can look up and see when the camera's showing their target and they see what's going on. All right, less than three hours left in Bodie Turner's 15 year old year. However, you're going to say that. Can he close this out? Indoor Archery World Series final gold medal. Compound men. Ten. Back to his shot. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> we all felt that one. No, nope. uh, and he knew it. Yeah, he launched that one. I think his thumb was in Arizona. How many 15-year-olds could say they're going for this kind of money? And a 10, ten. for Bodie Turner. He just really has to hit gold. Ten, ten, ten. Does it with a ten. So Bodie Turner wins gold at the Indoor Archery World Series Finals, celebrating with his dad and a handshake from Kyle Douglas. And wow, after a rocky start, a little shaky for Bodie Turner, he really settled into it and took a convincing win, 148 to 146. And what a way to sign off his 15th year as he's going to celebrate his 16-year-old birthday tomorrow.